Gabby from Ray Studios here and today I'm going to be reviewing the small rig cage for the Canon EOS M50. So I was pretty excited when I found out about this uh, cage for the M50 because the M50 is so small and the grip you have in this camera is like, yeah, no grip, especially if you have big sausage fingers, hands like I have. And once you put a big lens, well, the camera becomes even smaller, actually. It is like totally unbalanced. But, well, the first thing, the biggest advantage of this cage is that the grip. So you have a pretty good grip on your hand. And the second biggest advantage, I would say, is the protection that you add to the camera. So you have metal all around your camera, the camera fall. It's very unlikely you break the camera. Um, it still could happen, but yeah, you, you have more protection on the camera. Um, now I'm going to show you a closer look and I'm going to go through the different uh, features of this small rig cage. So first let's take a look at the top. Here I have a, sp a little space to put a wrist strap. So you can strap it to your wrist. And here we have a quarter inch mount all over the place. Uh, one eight uh, screw mount. And more mount here on the sides. Uh, <laughs> a lot more mount here so you can have a as a hand grip on the side for video. Uh, you can see how all the ports are not being blocked. So we have the HDMI port and USB. In the other hand, uh, we can have the mic ports. It's totally uncovered. Uh, something great about this is that it also, you can have access to the battery and the SD card. Um, this is great because once you put the M50 on a tripod, uh, this becomes inaccessible. You need to dismount the camera from the from the tripod and depending what tripod you use, you might even need to um, take the plate out so you can open this. But because now you can mount in one of these um, one quarter inch screw mounts on the side, you are offsetting that to one side and that allows you to open the battery compartment, battery and SD card compartment while it's on a tripod. So that's a pretty good advantage. Um, and I'll let you take a closer look how it, it lays flat, so it gives the protection. So the, the lens and the, and the cage can lay, lay flat on the table as before. This could uh, move to the size. But everything is so nice so far. Um, there is also a cold shoot mount to put your microphones and lights. So there are no connections, it's just cold shoot. But uh, the one thing that, that I don't like so much about it is that it's wiggle, 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 wiggle. Maybe you can see it there. Now that shouldn't happen. I have the, the small rig cage in the Sony ACC 300 and that doesn't happen at all. Once you put it on, it's super fixed in one place and it never moves. But for some reason with the Canon M50, it wiggles. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So that's something I don't like. Um, and that's kind of like a deal breaker for me. I really don't like that. I really don't like that it moves so much. And also the screw will loosen up because of that wiggle. So it's more easy that the screw loosen up and then you have more movement. Like at, with the screw fully tightened, it moved that much. And, and at this keep moving, it will loosen up and then it move to the sides as well. And eventually you need to keep screwing the you know, you need to tighten the screw all the time, uh, this screw over here. So, well, that's basically it for, for this small rig cage. So I hope you like this video and if you like it, uh, make sure to subscribe and let me know what you think about the, this cage in the comment section down below. Is this something you would like to buy? This is Gabby from Ray Studios, till next time.